These are Karens who got owned and humiliated for their selfish behavior. Let's begin. This difficult neighbor was not happy with the noise levels coming from the downstairs apartment. She then banged on their door looking for a confrontation and was anything but polite about the situation. She demanded that they shut their kid up immediately and got extremely heated towards not just the owners of the home, but also their children. This Karen refused to speak to them civilly and they actually had to get the on-site manager over to try and defuse the situation. Let's have a look. What do I mean? Okay, maybe it's just the kids. Maybe it's just the kids. What? what? Running around. But when you're taking when you're taking a, a, a broom and banging it purposely on somebody's roof, that's rude. First off, Excuse she me? The no, that was Okay, but until she hears the noise. Is my kids not allowed to have any? You know, you can't don't... make a noise complaint. Okay, but you, you but but you know what though? You can you can make them no. slow down the a bit. The whole approach you brought and to this door isn't do acceptable. This. Hello, admin. I have a lovely lady standing in front of me. Who yeah. Is yelling at me at this moment in time. Because she keeps banging on There's the ceiling. There's a three-year-old in front I of you. I didn't swear, did I? I don't care. I just said you guys keep banging Lower your voice on her and ceiling. Speak civilly. Okay. Why do you Why guys you bang on her ceiling? We're not banging on her ceiling, madam. I got there, and within 10 minutes, somebody was taking something and banging her ceiling. Because she I plays music? Home. I just got home not even that long ago. We just finished sitting down and having dinner. And you're recording me now? Absolutely. Close the door. Yeah. This Karen, who was actually a male Karen, was at the club and harassing the ladies. After lots of rejection and way too many drinks, he started getting angry at these random girls. It wasn't long before security actually kicked him out, where he had a total meltdown outside. He tried abusing his way back into the club, which obviously wasn't going to happen, and then called the authorities on himself. Let's have a look. He's arrested! Call him. Call him. Call him. Call him. Call him. This Karen's husband is an ex-police officer. Because of this, she thought she had the authority to walk into this random store and start stealing items. She was obviously soon confronted for this and stated that it was okay and even tried to leave with them as well. She was then recorded for what she was doing which sent her into a total meltdown where she got heated and confrontational with the other employees. She then started pointing fingers and hurling all sorts of abuse towards them, so let's have a look. You're stealing, so you I, go... I'm not, no, I'm not stealing. You are stealing. Just left the store? You just said you just said you were gonna steal. You just said you were gonna steal. No, I said stealing. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> so okay, go ahead because you called everybody disrespectful me. names. And they're chasing me because I called one of their girls a. And a oh, don't forget that. Oh, God. are we so You're such an old woman? Are we so You're an old woman. Oh, oh, oh. 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 I need to my That was assault. That was assault. She just assaulted okay, me. You need to leave. Yeah, I want to file no, a complaint I moved, right now. On my face. Face. She, no, I want to file a complaint. She just slammed my phone out of my okay, hand. You need to file with the police. Fine, exactly. I will. Let's go. Bye. Okay, go. No, I'm not leaving. Bye. I'm the police here. No, 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 This Karen had some serious road rage when she cut off this other driver. She then ran up to the vehicle only to kick and punch it, damaging the vehicle, and then fled the scene, meaning there was no insurance information exchange. This victim then ran over to this Karen to try and get some information from her, only for this Karen to try to drive over her in an attempt to flee the scene. Let's have a look. See? Are you serious? Okay. Are you I have your license plate number and I'm calling the cops. 
cussing you. This entitled Karen was actually detained and removed from this premise for not following the same rules as everybody else. She believes that it's not illegal to not follow these rules and when the gentleman explained to her that it was, she had a total meltdown towards him. She then demanded not only his information but all of his higher ups information stating that she was going to have his job and was even going to try to take them to court. Let's have a look. Uh, you need my I want ID? your business card? Yes, of course. No, you won't get my your... business card. I'll give my ID. No, 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 you are required to give me your ID. And so I give you, you a direction to provide down. your name and you address. You can write it down on a piece of paper you, for me. Yeah. I need his as well. Look, at this I age, have not committed a crime. What, you have? What crime have you, I committed? You have breached the restriction. It's and a restriction. It's not a law. We want you to give your name and address. I don't, I'm not lawfully required to. Yes. Judge... K back in yes. 2011 uh -huh. actually yep. passed okay. a finding in the Supreme Can Court. Can you put your hands behind no, your back there? If, Can you put your hands behind uh, your back? One second. I have to put you under arrest. If you arrest me, I will back? have you charged yes. with false arrest. That's okay. And what's more, it's armed arrest because you have a weapon and I don't. Yes. And if you hands imprison me, hands I will back. have you That's personally okay. charged. This Karen was caught and exposed for parking in a disability spot when she didn't have a permit. She had prevented this gentleman who was disabled to take this park and then justified it by saying that she was pregnant and it shouldn't matter as she wasn't going to be long in the store. After getting called out for this, she was actually sent into a total meltdown where she tried to assault the gentleman, among other things. Let's have a look. Yeah. Are you taping me? I am. You know that's against the law because it's not. a private. Reasonable expectation of privacy. You're looking for a fight. And you have no reasonable expectation of privacy. So don't park in a handicapped spot. You gonna hit me? Huh? You gonna hit me? Hi. Oh. Oh. Oh, poor lady. You gonna hear me? This Karen was abusing the staff at the McDonald's trying to get her away which wasn't gonna happen. It wasn't long until another customer overheard the abuse and told this Karen to shut up. This Karen was humiliated when she snapped at this other customer and told him to mind his own business only for this random customer who intervened to bite back and completely put this Karen in her place. Let's have a look. Shut me up. Why don't you shut me up? I'm so tired of, of, of ignorant people like you coming in here talking bad about the workers. That's why you can't get workers. Who wants to sit here and, and listen to someone come in here and, and talk to him? Let that man work. That man ain't causing you no problems. He's doing the best he can. It doesn't matter what I like. I can tell you don't like it. Well, too bad. Go someplace else. Go to Burger King. What happened to your way, what happened to your way in Burger King? Would you shut the up? I just said that. I said shut the Care less. Excuse me, can you call the police? You call them. Yes, you can. You call them. You see their business. Well, then get the man at the back of the car. Come on. 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 Come
Okay, and like I said to him, I want a refund because when I got the crazy bread, they were burnt. And I took pictures of them and I showed him. Sorry, uh, you just told him. Pardon? Uh, there is a customer trying to attack me. Oh, well, refund me then. See, refund me. We are already out here, here, so. Okay, I bought two crazy crates. Six dollars and the change. So, can you come me my money? I got two crazy breads, the two for six dollars. Yes. Okay, so I would like my refund. They were both burnt. Would you like to see them? I just showed him, and he you know, he's sitting here laughing in my face like I'm a joke. Sorry. I tried to guess it's not a joke, bro. Okay, so this male Karen was getting his car towed and he refused to pay the fee or get out of his vehicle. This led to an altercation between the tow truck driver and himself, and this Karen was anything but polite about the situation. After arguing back and forth with the tow truck driver for quite some time and realizing his vehicle wasn't going to be dropped, he tried to abuse his way out of it instead. Let's have a look. I don't even know who the f you are! I'm I don't even know who the f you are and you want me to pay you i'm the tow man well i don't know you why would i want to pay you because i got your car on my truck okay well good for you now you could, you could go ahead go ahead take me home with it i don't go need ahead, to take, take you away with it go ahead go ahead i don't go need ahead. to pay for the damages dude. <laughs> you're making me laugh dude really oh, you're making a fool you. out of yourself it's very simple man give me 50 bucks i drop the car you're on your way why would you like to, give you 50 bucks? to drop your car why you do it for free regardless. i do it for free Go ahead, give me your ride for me. Okay. Get ready. It's gonna be fun. This Karen pulled out into oncoming traffic and she was completely at fault for what happened next. She then blamed the other driver as if she wasn't at fault before getting out and confronting him. You can also tell that she puts a breath mint into her mouth, meaning she's expecting to get breathalyzed and refuses to take the blame for this and then has a total meltdown when the other gentleman decides to call the authorities. Let's have a look. What are you talking okay? about? You okay? Why What's you going stop? on? Why did you get out? I had enough room. You were speeding, sir. What? I had enough room. You were speeding. I was speeding? Yeah. Yes, hello? This Karen had actually left her dog in the car, turned off with the windows up. This is extremely dangerous for the dog, and this lady saw what was happening and came over and tried to break the window of her car. The Karen soon ran back to her car and confronted the lady who was only trying to save her dog, aggressively accusing her of damaging her property, and got very confrontational with her. Let's have a look. So break your car window. Great. Great. But did I break your car window? Did I, did I break your car window? Did I break your car window? No, because you finally got a brain and came out and dog. You came out, you got a brain and you got your dog. Well, you know, it's four people against you. This guy's a reporter, so I'm gonna send him the video of you and put him all over the news. You the bank and said you were gonna break into my car. I should get your number so you can put this. I'm gonna put this all over KTLA News. Yeah, that's why you locked your dog in the car with, with the, the sun beating down. What, what window? And a fan. What window? I don't see a fan or a window. Oh, I just look, see a hoarder. Look, look at all that you look, have in your car. You Jack. must be a Look at that. No. You're totally.
Okay, so this Karen was in this drive-thru and she was being incredibly disrespectful towards this employee. This employee decided enough was enough and decided to give her the same attitude back and told her that she didn't care about her problems or her order and told her to go away. This Karen was shocked and she humiliated when she realized she wasn't going to get her way and even tried complaining about her experience to the person on the phone with her. That's when this Karen decided to try to call out this employee and demanded to speak to the manager. Let's have a look. This morning. Get away from the window. I'm not talking to you anymore. I don't care. You don't care? No. Give me the manager. Like, can you hear her talking to me? Can you put out to number to one? Me? Your mom don't care how I talk to you. She not going to do nothing. What do you mean she don't care how I talk to you? She's not you better get her. You better. You better do it right now. I'm going to watch you do it right now because that is a... Uh, 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 no. uh, 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 what? Don't talk to me like that. Hello. I talk to you however I want. You're going to talk to me however you want? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, do you hear that? No, no, no. It's ready. Yeah. Yeah, get out my drafting. Come on! Come on! She jumped out the. Mom, she just poured a whole glass of water on me. Don't try and play me, stupid. Okay, so this gentleman had returned to a fast food restaurant because apparently the employee was hitting on his partner. He was anything but happy about this when he confronted her for it, stating that he's actually taken and she won't be hitting on his partner any longer. The lady apologized profusely, explaining that she wasn't, which the gentleman didn't believe. Let's have a look. Uh, how you doing? Uh, my boyfriend was here earlier. He said that you wrote your phone double or his receipt, and I'm just here to check you and say, like, Control you or whatever's going on. I know he fine. His name Antoine. You work with her? Let me explain something to you. Yeah. I don't care about you nor Antoine. When you walk in here, say good morning like we said to you. Oh, okay. Good morning. Yeah. I don't care about no Antoine. I don't care none of that. You want I said good morning. No, I'm asking. You want to order food? Yeah, I am. Can all I right. finish with that all? I no, want to I check her. I don't care about none of that. You're not checking nothing here. Danita. Sure I'm checking all. Ah. I'm checking lists and everything. Danita's Christmas. And you have. Ah. Uh -uh. Yes, baby. Right back at you. You want some chicken as well? Oh, my God. All of y'all coming? Yeah. Welcome to our store. You ain't about to come in and check me. Nothing about Oh, my me. God. I thought I was in the suburbs. I thought I this. There's no Philly? You Okay, so this gentleman was sitting on a bench and he had his feet touching the bench as it could have been wet or maybe too dirty for him to sit on. This was a problem for this Karen though when she confronted him, demanding that he moved immediately. The gentleman told her to go away though and stood his ground because he didn't want to sit on the bench like that. And I guess it's not up to this Karen to decide who can sit on the bench and how they sit on the bench as well. Let's have a look. You gotta get you out of- no, 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 no. You gotta get you out of my face, out of my business and away from me. Well, then Honestly, you can you, get away from me and no, leave no, no. right now because I was that's sitting. Just how I was it sitting is. here from the start. You just walked up well, out of nowhere. Well, you shouldn't be sitting that way. I can Put sit your however feet I want to. On the bench, would you? Do you I sit can that sit, way at home? I can home? sit however I want to. Do you sit that way at home? Matter of fact, I do. Really? A matter of fact, I do. And then somebody, if somebody isn't going to want to sit there because your feet are there, and heaven knows what what you, you are know what? onto the shoes. Do you have gum on your shoes? Do you have anything important else to do but bother me? Do you have anything else important to do? Well, don't you, don't you have a gentleman and sit no, 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 no. Right. You don't know me. You don't know if I'm a gentleman or not. Matter of fact, I promise not. you I work three times as hard as you. And this is my moment to take a second for myself and wait for what I need to wait for in my, my business. How do you know what no, I no, do? No, 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 you no, don't no. know what I do. Listen. You're running listen, your mouth. 100%. That's all you're doing. If you were busy, you wouldn't stop and talk to me. Okay, so this delivery person was going up the elevator to deliver a parcel. This delivery person had to get into the elevator with another person who ended up being a very big Karen. This Karen argued that there was not enough space for two people in this elevator and demanded that this delivery person get off immediately. Let's have a look. My girl here wants me to come out of the elevator so she can come out of the elevator. Because it's a small space we're supposed to maintain social distancing. I don't understand why you can't just politely step but out to allow me out of the elevator. When I ask you nicely, while well, you have been wearing your mask. You didn't ask me nicely. You said ride. get the f out the elevator. I said that after you refused no, 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 to no, get no. out. You have a giant but you, but my girl, hold on, hold on. My girl, you want to stand in the no. elevator with me? <laughs> And catch it. Look, you're not making sense, honey. You might as well get up at your floor. I'm trying to you're get up at my floor. I can't come close to you. Do you not understand that I have an extremely compromised immune system? You are a delivery person incorrectly wearing the mask inside is of this, a big is building. Is this incorrectly worn, guys? Is this incorrectly worn? 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 Is this incorrectly wor
correctly word? That wasn't like that the whole time! Oh, don't do that! Are you okay? Okay, so this lady had purchased some items and left the store. On her way out of the store, she noticed that an employee was actually following her and also taking pictures. This customer is really confused and asks the employee what she is doing, and apparently this employee accused her of stealing. This employee believes she had put an item up on the counter and stolen it, when in fact this customer genuinely didn't steal anything. So let's have a look. Back over there, I didn't steal. It's literally, it's not in my pocket. Go look at the video. I didn't take anything. Something like that, I'm not even gonna bother with. Because obviously you need it. I didn't take it. Go check your videos. I didn't steal from you. Go look at the counter. There's nothing on the counter. I left it there. Go look at your video. There's nothing there. Where did you leave it on the counter? I left it on top. Literally where, right in front of where she gave it to me. Okay, can you apologize for accusing me of stealing? Because I didn't steal. I did not steal from you. I didn't accuse you of that. I never said you stole anything, but I said it's not on the counter. Okay, well, I don't have it. I told you I don't have it. I don't appreciate you coming out here and taking pictures of me. I can come out here and do whatever I want. Okay, great. Okay. So can I, but I'm not right. stealing from you. Right. I didn't, I didn't take it. I never said that you were. I would like for you to go check your cameras. I don't want to go check my cameras. The product that came up. This Karen got into this road rage incident with this gentleman in Canada. Now, instead of apologizing because he was the one in the wrong, he actually got on the face of this guy and started abusing him. The gentleman that was being abused was really taken back by this, but instead of apologizing, the Karen tried to get in his face and intimidate him, I guess. This Karen was completely outrageous and he was claiming that he was Paki and also Indian at the same time, which obviously doesn't even make sense. Let's have a look. Huh? It's your problem? You Paki? Go back to India. Hindu? All you Hindu sh camel rider mother You camel rider mother Go back to Hindi. White power mother Canada. Are you born in Canada? When did you learn not to mind your own business, you Hindu? You're actually parked in yeah, this spot. Yeah, we're trying to turn around, and you're there, and she's there. Can't get out. Isn't it funny? Huh? You skin? Huh? How do you like it? Huh? I'm not threatening you. Don't feel threatened. You're taking a picture of me. Have a nice day, sir. You too, have a nice day. Okay, so this lady had bought something over for repairs and the gentleman wanted a deposit before he would touch the property. Now, this Karen believes the gentleman is not capable of doing the work and for this reason, she actually refuses to pay a deposit. For this reason, the gentleman is obviously not going to touch the work and that's when this Karen starts screaming and abusing at him, accusing him of being the reason why she has made it past the deadline. Let's have a look. <laughs> Okay, so it was this lady's first night at this apartment and she was awoken by some screaming from her neighbors. Now, what had happened was they got into a pretty heated argument together and this lady went out to record the situation. That was when this lady overheard some very offensive remarks being thrown around and decided to intervene and tell the lady that she is being out of line and suggest that she should apologize. Let's see how that goes for her. Where you came from. Where you come from? That's really 
You shouldn't. You shouldn't say that. You shouldn't say that. You shouldn't tell her to go back to a different country. You don't know that's going on. Yeah, but that seems kind of to me. You should have heard what I know, but you shouldn't tell her to go back to Jamaica. You need to stop and mind your business. No, I'm, I'm recording it because you sound kind of it's annoying. I'm not. You sound like it. She is already. Not. Well, you gotta watch what you say. You just moved in. You're, 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 like you're, the I know, and People you're disturbing me. Lady, you don't want to do that with me. Like, I will literally have all over this yard. You don't want to try you me what? with that. You think you're gonna scare me? You're, you're, gonna you're not gonna threaten me and tell me to come downstairs. Okay, so this lady lives in a very small apartment complex and basically somebody who lives next to her is constantly outside of her door ranting on about his very offensive beliefs to quite literally nobody. He's just talking to himself in the hallway and everybody who lives in this apartment complex can hear him. This lady came back from the supermarket only to see that this Karen was outside of her door. So let's have a look. Uh, notices back up on my door. Do you oh, ever shut the up? When ever I shut the up in front of my door with your I'm sorry man. I don't give a your ass yeah that's when I I'm okay your neighbors are Asians right so they have to leave me alone shut the up you don't get you shut the up you okay your life. shut the Doesn't up you way, are man. so irritating yeah every day uh, you are this Asians that yeah. I'm black, they're Asians. Right. Shut right. the right. up! Well, I'm right. tired right. of your right. in front of my right. door. I'm tired right. of your boy. Thanks for watching guys and if you've enjoyed today's episode please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on.